Hey hello to all welcome to global offensive hacker associate community in this section we are going to learn about uh, the best mac app for productivity during hacking so if you are a regular penetration tester and if you do day to day hacking activity daily basis so this application will be very helpful for you because i am using it okay uh, this application in my daily life so check out uh, this top 10 um, mac application for apple m1 and m2 pen test okay so if you are using apple m1 or m2 chip uh, this app will basically definitely beneficial for you during okay your uh, penetration testing stuff or basically hacking or other stuff whatever it is whatever you do in your daily life right so what are this particular application so i'm going to start okay with uh, homebrew so if you are new to the homebrew what you can do is you can simply go to the google and you can simply download uh, this homebrew uh, like this and you can simply click on this particular link copy it and go to your terminal and then paste it so automatically going to install homebrew right this is the first application we need to install first in your system uh, this is basically called mac os terminal or linux shell second okay basically down the line we have a item that okay you can simply go again further go to the google and download the i term application mac os terminal here is basically item and download from this one and you can see clearly we have a iterm application and i can switch a different different tab you can clearly see that 1 2 3 4 and so on i can also split vertically i can split horizontally and many many things i can do that this is very very useful because i always use mac as a base machine okay for a penetration testing i hardly use kali machine most of the software i have configured okay in my base machine okay so i'll guide you okay like in a different video uh, what actually the tool i'm using for exploitation right now i'm just focusing on the best mac application which i am using for productivity during an hacking next is a sublime text is very very important so example let's say again you can go to the google and the same way download sublime text and this is basically a cheat sheets okay completely a cheat sheets so example if i go to document and you can see this is the section and here you can see this is a sublime and i have a lot of cheat sheets for example if i want to penetrate mobile application or suppose i want to launch attack on web applications or cloud environment so you know a lot of commands are there right so example let's say nmap we have a lots of command like up to 300 400 commands are there okay in nmap so likewise for every topic we have a lot of you know uh, good stuff basically command line uh, utility is there so for that particular purpose what i do is i maintain the cheat sheet so whenever i require for example let's say i want to perform brute force i'll just look for the brute forcing command suppose i want to use curl command so i can use curl command i want to use cut command so i can use curl cut command so that is basically the way that's how you can use sublime text another way if you are a coder you can simply click on the plain text like this and you can see support this many languages so if you want to uh, write your own exploit everything you can write okay in this particular languages with the help of sublime okay this is the down the line we have <coughs> next section uh, we have a bar professional so i think this whoever okay in the cyber security domain uh, they know about this particular tool called bar professional so i'm using bar professional okay for web application and cloud penetration testing stuff you can simply go next 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 install it and after that okay you can open like this this is the bar professional version and i hope okay you are aware about it so that okay you can easily try from your own next we have a parallel desktop so you can simply go to the app store and you can simply go here and just type here parallel desktop this is the desktop application and you can simply just go here get and this is the paid application and this is very powerful by the way so i'm using parallel desktop for hacking activity a penetration testing for black hat activity and so on so you can see clearly this is the kali machine this is the windows 11 if i just click on windows 11 you can clearly see that it is very fast right see that and this is basically i created this machine for a cloud penetration testing specifically for azure stuff powershell exploitation and everything so i all you know i basically launch attack okay specifically to azure okay from this particular machine so you can see this is my c drive and these tools are loaded okay in, in my machine everything is full fledged configured okay that is basically our parallel desktop and in inside the parallel desktop i'm using a windows machine 
same way this is the kali machine i have configured the kali under the parallel desktop okay you can use basically vmware fusion you can use utm but in uh, latest chip like apple m1 and m2 i i prefer parallel desktop okay for a lot of reasons next uh, these are my personally favorite okay this will help me you know to boost uh, like productivity so one is drop over so example let's say i am working with many many you know like a uh, files a uh, different different files like this so a drop over will help me uh, you know uh, in a proper way you know where okay you want to copy where you want to share this particular file for example i want to use these spreadsheets i can see for you know select it and you can see this little icon will come and i can you can see drag it here not only this if you have any other document you can see but drag it here and further you can share okay to anybody if you want to share okay in the cloud environment you can simply see you can add drop it you can send an email uh, you can also get a cloud link you can also get a i cloud link and you can share to anybody so example let's say if you are instructor or basically you are sharing the content on regular basis okay to your team this is really helpful okay just drag it and you can basically you know uh, open any application and then you can basically use anywhere for example let's say this is sublime if i have anything like this multiple application i can keep in this particular place a different different application okay and whenever i need it i simple drag it as it, as it is like this see like this all this so that basically is you a know, fantastic application drop over you must use it okay if you are using a mac system uh, another great utility is called menu bar x this is my again another personally favorite application so what's the purpose of this how i use okay this at application okay so very simple you can see we have a lot of browser okay which you can clearly see here right vivaldi uh, google chrome Mo mozilla firefox so every time i need to either go this way okay we can use work spaces in such that way you can see these are work spaces right so what i will do is i'll okay like whatever you know uh, whatever the application i prefer i just configure with menu bar as i open it and you can see it will come accordingly so example let's say like uh, the github so all attackers example let's see if you want to perform penetration test so always okay you go to the github and, and basically cloning the scripts and everything okay you are doing right from your own end so what i do here is basically i keep open github so if i want to search anything any tool example let's say storm spotter azure i can simply search here and you can see it will going to open and i can basically fetch it everything directly and even one go it will go and one click okay you can easily access this thing and you can change accordingly so it's pretty fast okay you can access the particular document okay so any script you can just download so example let's see if you are on google chrome and you want to see that page you can see clearly it is coming exactly like that so if you're working okay example let's say in kali machine or windows 11 machine or whatever the operating system you are using it just one click okay you can clone and one click okay you you know you can do a lot of stuff right? exactly the exactly the same way i'm using it menu bar x not only this you can clearly say I, I like uh chat gpt so the chat gpt in, just in one interface it is available i like youtube so you can simply see uh, this one right so it is working in background okay that's how basically you can play with the menu bar x this is the great way uh, to increase okay, your productivity uh, next uh, down the line we have uh, sigma os so if you are interested okay, in blogging and other thing or basically you want to manage a different different work spaces so this is extension for you uh, sigma operating system okay basically sigma os is the application name uh, specifically this is the browser so you can see i have a different different tabs here so example let's see if i go here example let's say offensive attack i can simply click here json so this i always use it okay for penetration testing so you can see up to three workspaces are free and rest okay is chargeable so if you, if you want to use a free version of this we can use vivaldi so in vivaldi also we have a different different workspaces you can see if you click on azure you will be redirect okay to the azure if you want to click on searching you can search here right that's how i manage okay like the tabs for productivity uh, vivaldi browser next is we have okay this uh, mosaic so how to use it so it's very pretty interesting framework okay example let's you want to arrange the window you can see when you just you know hold over this particular window it will come like this what you want so i want to left side so you can see left side same way if you want this as well you can see where you want right side you can see right side this left side so you can easily arrange the window you know very easily very conveniently and very fastly so generally what will happen is uh, whenever okay i want to penetrate the application i always use burp and and now basically use a different different browser so you can now 
I can easily select these spaces from this area example let's say this area like this and you can see selected and uh, this part I can simply select okay like this area example let's say this portion here and you can clearly see it is arranged properly so this is overall you know uh, application I'm using it here top 10 application as I discussed to you and one go you can simply you know zoom it all this so these are all 10 application which I'm using it okay during uh, hacking uh, this will increase okay like my productivity so same application I have disclosed to you and this is not the only application there are many other application which I will disclose okay in the coming video I hope you enjoy this particular video and have a great day see you in the next episode